When we're not making progress towards the things that matter to us, almost always there's an element of victimhood somewhere buried in our minds. In this video, I'm going to show you three signs that part of you is thinking like a victim and give you three mind hacks to overcome it. But first, won't you take a moment to like and subscribe to this channel? So victimhood simply means you don't have the power that something is happening to you. So you don't have to be a full blown victim of an attack. You can simply be a victim of circumstances. You're simply not the one with the power, with the agency to make changes. So how do you know that that's how you're thinking? One way to tell is if you hear yourself using obligation words as opposed to choice words. For example, I've got to get up and go running this morning or I really have to, you know, sit down and meditate or I really need to stop eating junk food, have to, should, must, need. These are all obligation words. They're all words that are being imposed on us rather than what we're desiring to do. So the mind hack there is when you catch yourself, play a game and see if you replace it with a choose word, whether it is as true or truer. I want to get up and run this morning. Well, you may not feel like it, but you want the results. So is it a true or truer to say or I choose to get up and run this morning as opposed to I have to. I want to sit down and meditate. I am going to cut junk food out rather than have to should need all these really heavy words. The second way you can tell that you're thinking about victimhood is really long and strangely passive and convoluted verb structures like, you know, I want to eat well and then I find myself um, snacking in the evening. I find myself snacking, right? Or as, as opposed to I snack in the evening, I make the decision to snack in the evening, I choose to snack in the evening. So again, that kind of uh, verb word salad where you're distancing yourself from agency is another really good clue that you are in victim mode to some extent. So again, the way out of this is to shift your language. When you hear yourself say, you know, I find myself or I end up on the couch like you were just a passenger and you got dumped there without any will, change it. I decided to sit on the couch and eat Ben and Jerry's. I chose to stay in bed and not go for my morning run and see whether those feel as true or truer. And the beautiful thing is when you move out of victimhood, you can feel yourself getting your power back. It may feel bad like, oh, I didn't want to choose to. I just ended up. It just happened. But that, of course, is a place of powerlessness, because what could you do about that? But if you say I chose to, I decided to, then you can choose and decide something different. The third way to tell that you're in victimhood is if you're really falling in love with your reasons for not doing these things. Yeah, it was too cold to go running or, you know, I didn't have time to prep, so I had to go out and do takeout. All right. So when you hear yourself giving lots and lots of reasons for not doing things that you want to do, get suspicious. Of course, there are reasons that stop us in individual moments. Hey, I was snowed in. I couldn't go for my run. Um, the thing got canceled. So I right, there are situations, but just like someone who's always 10 minutes late and always has a good reason. Oh, it was traffic. Oh, I couldn't find my keys. Oh, the carburetor. You know that it's not those reasons that those are just excuses. So the mind hack here is to take your good reasons, your cherished favorite reasons and reframe them as my favorite excuses. So instead of, yeah, I couldn't go running because it was too cold outside and I was afraid of slipping. I chose not to exercise because I indulged my favorite excuse of it being too dangerous to go walking or I didn't eat well last night because I indulged my favorite excuse of I hadn't prepared. Once you begin to see how the, you're playing these games with yourself, how your mind is convincing you that you have no power and you begin to shift your language to get your power back. Guess what? You have your power back and you be, can begin to make different moves towards your goals. Again, if you like this video, give it a like. If you want more of these, 
You can subscribe and ask for notifications from this Plant Yourself channel. Have a great day.